Day 28 of our road trip, we are spending the day exploring Laurel, Mississippi, which is located in the southeastern part of the state, the filming place of my favorite HGTV show, Hometown, where Ben and Aaron Napier fix up houses for families one house at a time while also starting a revitalization of their hometown. We stayed at a Holiday Inn Express right in Laurel, Mississippi. There are plenty of hotel options here. And we visited our very first store of the day, Scotsman Company. It's the general store in Woodshop where Ben and all the woodworkers do their woodwork for the TV show and it's half general store. You really feel like you step back in time with their vintage decor. They sell so many things like jams and jellies, sauces. You gotta try Big Ben's Blend Coffee. It is really dang good. And if you know, if you watch this show, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> The thing I like most about this store is every single thing is made in America. They really support small town America, things made in America, which I really, really love. We really enjoyed this section of the store. It has a big cooler where you can buy vintage glass bottles of soda. And I always think soda tastes better out of a glass bottle. The light wasn't on, so there was no filming today. Dang, we missed him. Next on our stop is the Laurel Mercantile. Now this is more of Erin's store, and it's just a short four minute walk or a four minute drive down to her store. And there was plenty of parking, so we just drove down there. This store is just really beautifully done from the marble wall outside to the curb appeal to the inside. This is definitely more of a homeware store where you can buy stuff for your home, paintings, pillows, dishes, all kinds of neat things. I would also like to say bravo on the customer service in these stores. Everyone working there was super friendly, super nice, super informative if you have any questions about the area. Now that I got my retail therapy in, we were going to go find lunch. Being parked here at the Mercantile was a great central location to all the walking restaurants really close by. We were going to try Pearl's Diner, which has been featured on the show. Ben and Aaron redid Miss Pearl's house, and we really wanted some great southern food. But the line was out the door, and since we still had a good drive that afternoon, we just wanted to find another restaurant. So we went to Le Fleur, Cafe Le Fleur. It was a New Orleans style restaurant, and it was so good. After lunch, we wanted something sweet, so we took a quick four-minute walk over to Sweet Something Bakery, which takes you down Central Avenue, which at the time, which was October 8th, we were there. This road was under construction, but you could still walk and go to all the shops and restaurants down it.
they have everything from ice cream to cupcakes to cookies, brownies, chocolates, pastries, anything you can think of. We got a vanilla cupcake, a raspberry danish, which was the best danish I have ever had, and of course, birthday cake ice cream, because why not? This concludes our 2021 road trip where we drove over 7,300 miles. We drove through 18 states, visited 8 state parks, and 16 national park sites. And we have the memories that last a lifetime. This trip was wonderful and it was priceless and we really enjoyed sharing it with everyone. Stay tuned because we also took a winter trip and a spring trip that we're excited to share with you guys. So until next time, adventures are out there. Are you? Thank you. Have a blessed day. Bye.